being a reporter in a swing state like Arizona was incredibly interesting because there was a lot of national themes going on here. Um, we were heavily impacted by inflation and back in 2022 at 13%. Um, the border crisis, we're obviously a border state, looking into the dynamic there. And abortion was also a major state issue earlier this year, and it later ended up playing into um, our campaign season. But personally speaking, a lot of being a swing state reporter has to do with building relationships on both sides of the aisle. So, you know, I'd get on the phone with the Democrats at nine and then I'd call with the Republicans at 10 or vice versa. There were some very interesting experiences that I also got to um, have while being a campaign reporter. I was able to um, interview the now vice president-elect J.D. Vance uh, and then travel with him from Phoenix to San Diego, California overnight where he ended up touring the border there. I was also able to go down to um, the border in Douglas, Arizona, where Vice President Harris was speaking in the closing days of her campaign. But additionally, I was able to see, um, you know, RFK dropping out on this really amazing visual later that day here in Glendale, Arizona, of, you know, Kennedy endorsing a Republican. It was just very bizarre. It was a, really a historical moment for this campaign season. Um, but also following developments in the Senate race covering Kerry Lake and Ruben Gallego, all of these all kind of built up, but at the end of the day, it really was about talking with voters and hearing what matters to them. And I think that's truly what the experience of this was about, is making sure that we're building that gap, bridging that gap between, um, you know, these coastal cities and, you know, the coastal kind of elite culture and the rest of America, whether that's, um, you know, talking with voters or visiting the border and meeting these people where they're at.